Hello dear students, we are discussing chapter number 13 gaseous exchange. In this lecture, we will discuss about respiratory organs in earthworm. Aaj ke lecture mein hum earthworm ke respiratory organs ko discuss karenge. First point, earthworms are classified in the phylum Annelida and are commonly known as segmented worms. Dear students, earthworm ka jo phylum hai, us phylum ka name Annelida hai and here you see the body of earthworm is divided into ring like parts known as segments that is why it is commonly known as segmented worm. Earthworm have no special respiratory organs, earthworm ke paas koi special respiratory organs nahi hote, jabke earthworm ke body mein ye jo aapko moist skin nazar aara hai, earthworm respire through its moist skin. In earthworm, the exchange of gases occurs through the moist skin. So, the moist skin of the earthworm is its respiratory organ. Dear students, earthworm ka jo moist skin hota hai, iske through gases ka exchange hota hai. Through this moist skin, it is the oxygen that diffuses in and through this moist skin, it is the carbon dioxide that diffuses out. Earthworm ka skin moist rehta hai, iska respiratory surface moist hota hai, jiske through oxygen andar ki taraf diffuse hota hai aur carbon dioxide bahar ki taraf diffuse hota hai. Dear students, in earthworm, skin is the only organ of respiration. Earthworm mein sirf skin ke through hi respiration hota hai. So, the respiration in which the gas exchange occurs across the skin is called cutaneous respiration. So, in case of earthworm, the mode of respiration is called cutaneous respiration. Pure slide ko focus ki jiega. So, dear students, we have read in the first slide that earthworm mein jo respiration hota hai, wo uski moist skin ke through hota hai. Aur aisa respiration jo ke skin ke through hota hai, usko kehte hain cutaneous respiration. Next point. Oxygen and carbon dioxide pass through the earthworm skin by diffusion. So, dear students, oxygen under aega diffusion ke through or carbon dioxide bahar jayega diffusion ke through. So, iske liye earthworm ko apni skin ko hamesha moist rakhna padega. For diffusion to occur, the earthworm's skin must be kept moist. So, earthworm ka skin hamesha moist rehta hai, to earthworm ki skin mein cells hote hain, goblet cells jo ke mucus secrete karte hain. Goblet cells in the skin of earthworm secrete a mucus, a slippery chemical, a slippery fluid that keeps its skin moist. So, dear students, earthworm ki skin mein goblet cells hote hain, jo ki skin ko hamesha moist karte hain. Earthworm therefore, need to be in damp or moist soil. Earthworm hamesha moist soil mein rehna pasand karta hai kyunke iska jo skin hai wo hi sirf iska respiratory organ hai jis ki wajah se isko apni skin ko hamesha moist rakhna padta hai. Poore slide ko focus ki jiye ga. Toh humne padha ke earthworm ka jo respiratory surface hota hai wo moist hota hai aur usme help karte hai goblet cells jo ke mucus release karte hai aur mucus earthworm ki skin ko hamesha moist rakhta hai. Now we will learn the mechanism of how gases are exchanged across moist skin. Dear students, this is the image of earthworm and here is its moist skin. So, the diffusion takes place through the skin of the earthworm and dear students, here you see the section through earthworm skin. So, now you see this is a section of earthworm skin, so skin se oxygen under ki taraf diffuse ho raha hai and here you see the skin is richly supplied with blood capillaries. So, yaan se jab oxygen under diffuse ho ga, to dear students wo blood mein diffuse ho jayega. Thik. The blood vessels absorbs the oxygen and carry it to the different body cells. So, the oxygen gas absorbed by the skin diffuses into the blood and transported to all cells of the body or jesi blood earthworm ke different body cells ko oxygen pohunchayega to phir cells mein kya hoga cellular respiration hoga 
in the cells oxygen is used up for oxidation of food by a process called cellular respiration pure slide ko focus kijiyega to humne padha oxygen moist skin ke through diffuse hoga the skin is richly supplied with blood vessels and the blood of the earthworm carry this oxygen to all cells of the body where oxidation of food takes place to release energy at the same time here you see carbon dioxide diffuses out तो डियर स्टूडेंट सेलुलर रेस्पिरेशन में कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड भी प्रोड्यूस होगा सी एर ड्यूरिंग दिस प्रोसेस ऑफ सेलुलर रेस्पिरेशन कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड इज प्रोड्यूस्ड एंड देन दिस कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मिक्सेस इन द ब्लड एंड डिफ्यूजेस आउट ऑफ द बॉडी थ्रू इट्स मॉइस्ट स्किन तो आप यहां पे देखें कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड मॉइस्ट स्किन के थ्रू बाहर डिफ्यूज हो रहा है पूरे स्लाइड को फोकस कीजिएगा सो डियर स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी हैव डिस्कस द रिस्पिरेटरी ऑर्गन ऑफ अर्थवर्म इज द स्किन एंड द रिस्परेशन विच टेक्स प्लेस थ्रू द मॉइस स्किन इज कॉल्ड क्यूटेनियस रेस्परेशन थैंक यू डियर स्टूडेंट्स विशिंग यू ऑल ऑफ द बेस्ट